Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting Christmas talk about cubing. Let's get started. So I just want to say first, thank you so much for all the people who support me out there. Thank you for all the subscribers that have subscribed to my channel and take the time to watch my videos and give me likes or support or encouragement. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to give a couple quick shout outs to a couple cubers that uh, really support my channel. They leave comments a lot, encourage me, um, and really good cubers too. First one is uh, Joss Cubie, J-O-S, I'll put it here. Yeah, Joss Cubie. And I'll leave the information in the description. Uh, maybe a better way to look at it, too, <clears throat> is like this. I, I uh, J-O-S, QB. And I'll put the information in the description below. This is a really, <clears throat> he's a really good channel. Like, he does different cubing videos. He does a lot with, like, the snake uh, puzzle. Makes amazing designs. Joss Cuby, you're amazing. You're a great cuber, and thank you for what you do. I appreciate it, and I appreciate your comments, too. Another one I'm going to uh, give a shout-out to is uh, Cats and Cubes. Sorry about that with the lighting. Yeah, like I said, I'll have all the information description. Um, then another great cuber... <clears throat> Uh, Cuber Stew, S-T-U, another great Cuber, uh, this guy is really, really good, he makes some really creative videos, uh, and he's a great Cuber, I mean, he's he solves many hard puzzles, he does a lot of great tutorials, a lot of walkthroughs, and it's, it's, he makes it so you can understand it, it's not too fast it's not hard he does it where you can he meets you at your level so cuber stew is a great uh cubing channel check him out i'll have that in the description below too um <clears throat> excuse me so i just wanted to talk and say also that um you know a lot of times in the cubing world there's a lot of pressure to become like sub 20 at the three by three or below 20 seconds. And, <clears throat> you know, I fell into that where I think I have to become sub 20 or sub 15 or sub 12 or sub 10, like below 10 seconds. And you try to put so much time into it to try to become great at three by three that sometimes you don't really enjoy your other puzzles because you're spending so much time trying to uh, keep up with what's going on in the cubing world. So my encouragement to you is don't get caught up in what everyone else is saying. Like, you know, sometimes they'll say if you're, if you're not below 15 seconds, you know, that's not good. If you're not sub 20 you're not that good or your times are not good. That's not true. That's their opinion. Don't listen to their opinion just because they want to say, you know, if you're, if you're not sub 20, if you're not doing below 20 seconds, that you're not that good. So don't listen to that stuff. You know, do it at your pace. In time, you'll get better. And it takes time. You know, like I think within maybe the last five or six months, yeah, five or six months, I dropped about 10 seconds on my three by three times. And and I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm being honest. I usually solve the three by three in between 40 to about 50 seconds. Is that great? No. Would other people say that you're not that good? I think they would. They'd say you're not that good. But I don't care about their opinion. You know, that's me. I'm I'm doing it as I can do it. I work full time. A lot of these kids out there don't work. They spend a 
so much time cubing and that's how they get better so fast. You know, I have to support my children. I support my girlfriend. So I work, you know, a full-time job. Plus I have other things going on in my life. So that's my point. Don't feel like you got to become sub 12, you know, by the end of the year or by the end of, you know, by the end of next year, you got to be sub 10 or sub 12. Don't worry about what people say. Just do it at your pace, do your best. And, you know, you'll find good success. So just wanted to mention too, excuse me, a little bit of uh, McDonald's coffee, my favorite, McCafe. <laughs> yeah, like an example, like the Mega Minx. I, uh, when I first started doing Mega Minx, I, I didn't know how to do it. And I didn't think I could do it because I watched videos. And I bought like a, at the time, it was maybe five years ago. Yeah, about five years ago or something. I bought a cheaper Mega Minx. And it got caught, the pieces popped, I didn't know what to do. So what happened was I ended up, uh, I had to wait two weeks and get another Mega Minx. Then I finally got the Shangshao Mega Minx. And that was the good one at the time. And I ended up solving it. So I was so happy. I was really, really happy that I actually solved the Mega Minx. It was such a joy to me because I thought I could not do it. And since then... You know, since then, I probably solved the Mega Minx maybe 70 or 80 times. Maybe it's more. I don't know. But I, I enjoy the Mega Minx. It's fun. I take my time and do it. I don't try to speed solve it. I just do it, you know, nice and easy and take my time and have fun. And same with Paraminx. Uh, I, did, <clears throat> I did not think I could solve that when I first started. It was I first started like six and a half years ago. And, you know, I, I decided to try it, and I was so happy when I finally solved the Paraminx. That was the, uh, <clears throat> that was the puzzle I had when I was a teenager. Back in the late 1980s, they had it out. They had, I think it was Mefferts, and I couldn't solve it back then. Like, I only could do one face. I could only solve, like, let's say the yellow face, and that's it. <clears throat> so then I kept, you know, then later when I first started cubing, I got a Paraminx, finally solved it, and I was so happy. <clears throat> I was so happy I solved it. And since then, I, I do the same. I'm not a speed solver on Paraminx. I just do little by little, you know, fun solves. Just I, I casually do it because I enjoy Paraminx and just casually solving. I don't have to solve it real fast. It's I just enjoy that. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I just wanted to say to everybody out there that thank you for joining me today. Merry Christmas to everybody. I pray that and hope you feel the warmth of Christmas in your heart. Feel the warmth of Christmas, you know. Enjoy your Christmas and have fun. And especially Cuber Stu, Stuart, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Cats and Cubes, Merry Christmas to you, buddy. Joss Cubie, Merry Christmas to you. My girlfriend, Anna, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, my friend, Bill in Mexico, Merry Christmas to you, Bill. God bless you all. And thank you for taking the time today to watch. I appreciate your time. And thank you for uh, taking the time to watch my videos, too. I really appreciate it, and I mean it from my heart. So Merry Christmas to everybody, and have a great weekend. God bless.